Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, This Guy Shops. My name is Chris. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new here and this is your first video, thank you so much for clicking on it. I love to shop for good deals and I love to do hauls and other type of videos. And I am obsessed with Bath & Body Works. So if you are obsessed with Bath & Body Works or you like watching Bath & Body Works videos, then you are definitely going to want to stay tuned. Today we have a empties video for February. I said in my last video that I wanted to fill up this bin every month and I definitely achieved that goal this month. There is a lot of candles and there's some body care items in here. So let's go ahead and get into this empties video and let's see what I used up last month. Should we start with the candles or the body care? Since there is a lot of candles, we'll go ahead and start with the body care first. And we will go ahead and get the two non Bath and Body Works products out of the way first. And then the rest are Bath and Body Works. But the two items that are not are Tree Hut. I finished up the Tahitian Vanilla Bean Shea Sugar Scrub. This scrub was really nice. It was a nice vanilla bean. It wasn't like a sugary vanilla, it had just a straight vanilla bean um, scent to it. It was really nice. Definitely something that I will probably repurchase one day if I can find it again. And then another thing I really loved are their face sugar scrubs. Um, I finished up the blueberry and turmeric. Uh, when I was using it, it felt really nice on my face. It was very purifying. Uh, it smelled good and it felt good. So their face scrubs is definitely something that I will keep buying. I do have a watermelon and a pineapple, so I will probably pull out the watermelon next. Alright, now we'll move into the Bath & Body Works empties. I used up my Vanilla Mocha Cream Fine Fragrance Mist. This is from 2021. Uh, I absolutely love this one. It is repackaged into Vanilla Mocha Martini. Um, I get a lot of compliments when I use this one. Very mocha, vanilla cappuccino just a nice creaminess to it definitely one of my favorites and the scent notes on here are cozy cappuccino vanilla orchid and white tonka bean absolutely love this one and then to go along with that i finished up my coffee and whiskey body cream this scent is absolutely amazing i am sad that it is discontinued i don't think you can find coffee and whiskey uh, much anymore but this scent was really nice. I'm almost done with the cologne as well and the shower gel. So you'll probably see the shower gel in the next, in the March empties video. But absolutely love this cream. So on the back here, it just says warm fragrance with a hint of sweetness inspired by the classic combination of coffee and bold Irish whiskey. Very, very good body cream. And then next up, I used up the Dream Bright in the body cream. This has scent notes of sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. This one was really nice, a very sophisticated vanilla scent. This was a more mature version of Among the Clouds, in my opinion, but I do have a backup of this uh, in the Dream Bright of all of it, so I am very happy to have another one. And absolutely, this is probably one of my favorite packaging they've ever done. There's just something about the like blingy diamonds that are just awesome looking. And then next up here, I also use my Among the Clouds hand cream. And the scent notes on this one are wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds. Same berry and vanilla that's in Dream Bright. But this one gave like a little bit less mature version of that one. But it was a good hand cream, just not long lasting. I will try to find another one at Sass though to have in my collection. And then next up I use this Merry Christmas from 2021, this mini shower gel. I ended up just throwing this in the bathtub and uh, took a bubble bath with it. This one was nice, it was a nice sugary berry scent. I would definitely repurchase this if they ever came out in the full size. And then I used up this aromatherapy and lavender and vanilla the sleep and it is just an essential oil mist so i just sprayed this on me before i went to bed just to have that nice lavender and vanilla scent 
And then I also used up this bourbon mini men's cologne. I also had the full size in the bourbon. So it was nice to really try this one out at work for a couple of days. And I did like that one. So then we have four pocket back sanitizers here. The first one is Be the Rainbow Rainbow Cereal. This one smelled um, pretty much just like Fruit Loops. Uh, it's definitely not something that I would rebuy again, but it was cool to try it out. And then I used the Merry Cookie from 2021. Absolutely love Merry Cookie. I used up a Among the Clouds. I'm going to try to find another one of these at Summer Sass. Just to be able to have in the collection. And then I also used up a Strawberry Pound Cake. Absolutely love Strawberry Pound Cake in the sanitizer. Smells very, very good. And I still have a couple more of these. And then I have one hand soap here. I used up the Among the Clouds hand soap. This one, again, like I said, was very nice. Once it got about to like right here, it really started performing very well. Smells very good, just not long lasting. But was definitely a nice soap to have. And then I have this wallflower refill here. I'm not sure which one it was. Um, I will start keeping track of my wallflowers from now on though. That way I know for sure which ones I'm using. But they just take so long to use up in my bathroom. They really just take like more than a month to use it up. So it's hard to get these in my empties videos. But I love using these in the bathroom. And then for the car, I used up the Among the Clouds and the Car Fragrance Refill. I love this one in the Car Fragrance Refill. I got a lot of compliments every time somebody got in my car. They definitely said it smelled very good. So the Among the Clouds Car Fragrance Refill is pretty good. All right, now we'll go ahead and get into the candles. We'll start off with the One Wicks. I have four of them. I ended up burning through Champagne Toast downstairs in the bathroom. It is a bathroom that doesn't get used a whole lot, but the candle's always lit, so that's why the candle always gets burnt through. But Champagne Toast is nice candle. Very, um, uh, like, juicy, bubbly, fruity kind of scent. And then to keep the uh, bubbles going, we went with Bubbly Rosé in the upstairs bathroom. This candle was actually really nice when it was burning. I'm not a huge fan of it on cold. It's like, it's like okay on cold, but when it is burning, it is a really nice candle. So that candle makes me excited to burn my other three wick bubbly rosés. And then I also burned through a raspberry mimosa. That one's kind of hard to see. As you can tell, I went with a lot of the like champagne kind of one wicks this month. But this one smells amazing. So this candle was really nice. Raspberry Mimosa. And none of these have the scent notes on the bottom of them. And then the last one wick here, I burned through Wildberry Jam Donut. It is definitely an acquired smell. It is very potent in the donut and the Wildberry Jam. But I absolutely love this candle. I also have this candle in the three wick. It came out in like that purple matte jar from 2021. All right, now we'll get into the three wick candles. I burned through a pink lilac and vanilla. This candle was very good, very floral, a little hint of vanilla. Definitely a nice candle for February. It slid it up a little bit at the bottom there, but other than that, I think it burned pretty well. This has scent notes of fresh lilac bouquet, dewy greens, and vanilla blossom. And this candle was from the 2021 Bake Shop slash February candles. 
And this candle came out at the same time. It is the Positively Sweet. This is the Dark Chocolate Truffle. It has scent notes of rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, and candied cherry. This candle is very good. Very chocolate, very cherry. I'm very, very sad that I only grabbed one of these. I so wish I had a couple more. Because this candle has never came back. And the chocolate candles are very hard to come by at Bath & Body Works. And then we'll go ahead and just keep going with the like more gourmand candles. I burned through a sprinkled birthday cake. This has scent notes of rainbow sprinkles, vanilla frosting, and fluffy cake. Absolutely love this candle. It does have like a weird smell on cold, uh, but when it is burning, it is absolutely amazing. I think I still have like three more of these. Definitely my favorite candle to burn during my birthday month. And that one had a very nice burn. It did not soot up at all. All right, and then next up, we have chocolate chip cookie. I love this packaging with the paint strokes. And this one has set notes of oven-baked cookies, gooey chocolate chips, and a hint of flaky salt. This one smells amazing. When it's burning, it smells just like there's fresh cookies baking in your oven. This one, again, burned beautifully. Not a single problem from this one. I burned it all the way down to the very little bit left. But it still smells good. I can still smell it. So I'm thinking about maybe keeping some of these that I can still smell and just like popping them on like a candle warmer just to get the last bit of the oils out. Because it almost feels wasteful if I can still smell it, but yet the wicks won't stay lit. So maybe I should get a warmer just to pop the candles on that still have a little bit of fragrance left in them. And then next up here we have chocolate banana mudslide. This one has scent notes of frozen bananas, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, and a splash of rum. This one gave me a little bit of a problem, but I think it's because I was lazy and I was not trimming the wicks properly. But I was not a fan of this one. It kind of has like a weird smell to it. I don't know if it's the banana, but there's definitely something about this candle that I did not like. So I would not repurchase this candle. And then next up we have Cinnamon Irish Cream. I love the lid on this one. It has like all those geometric lines. And this has scent notes of cinnamon spice liqueur, Irish cream, and French vanilla. This one smelled absolutely amazing. I was very surprised by this candle. I thought it was just going to be like, a, you know, just another coffee candle. But I ended up really loving this candle. I think if I can find another one for like 75% off at like an outlet mall, I might pick it up. Because this candle is actually really nice. I don't think it's strong in the cinnamon. It was definitely more strong in like the Irish coffee and the cream part. But again, I can still smell... I can still smell the scent in here, so I think I am going to get a candle warmer. All right, next up here, it was Valentine's Day month, so I did burn You're the One. This candle was very nice. It has white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. It was very much floral, but it had like a nice hint of the strawberry nectar in it. It has a very strong perfume smell to it. And this candle burned beautifully. And it still has that strong floral perfume smell to it. I really did like this candle a lot. I probably would repurchase this one. And it is part of their signature uh, line or their signature collections. And then next up here to go with the floral gourmand that I've been doing. I went with Pink Petal Tea Cake. I decided to finally burn one. I think I have two or three of them. So I definitely wanted to burn one just to see what it was like. It has pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. 
So this candle was very nice. It had a little bit of that floral, but with the vanilla glaze and the pound cake, it gave it that like gourmand vanilla cake vibe. So this candle was really nice. I can't wait to burn another one. And it still smells pretty good. This candle gave me absolutely no problems at all. So this is definitely another candle that I can save and put on the warmer. And then the last item here, I have Lakeside Morning in the Three Wick Candle. This has scent notes of crisp air, driftwood, and fresh green apple. You definitely get the crisp autumn air in the white driftwood. You do only get the hint of the green apple, but the autumn air in the driftwood definitely comes through in this candle. This was a nice candle I put in my bathroom. I love the smell of it, especially in the morning time. So Lakeside Morning is definitely a good candle. Would I repurchase it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It didn't wow me, but it was definitely a good candle. All right, so my basket is empty. So let's go ahead and restart for March. Let's see what we can get in there. I've already started pulling some products out of my bins to be able to start using for March. I'm trying to go with like the green theme, if you can't tell up here with the green candles. Um, it is kind of sad that Bath & Body Works doesn't do any like St. Patty's Day decor, but I think I understand why. Maybe because it's like a holiday revolved around drinking, so they probably don't even want any part of that, which is totally understandable. I just think that they could really do some really cute things for Leprechaun season, but maybe one day we'll see. So if you enjoyed this empties video, leave me a like button. Let me know that you want to see more. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss another Bath & Body Works video from me. I have a lot of reviews coming up with more of the tropical line. And then at the end of that, I do want to rank all of them from my favorite to my least favorite. So I'm excited about that video. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching my February empties. And I hope you all have a great night. And I will see you in the next one.